This video demonstrates the installation process of S6-GC 40-60K string inverter series. Attention! Electrical equipment can only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the user manual before installation and check whether the accessories in the box are complete. The inverter is heavy. Please utilize proper lifting techniques when moving and installing the inverter. Please install the inverter in a safe location that meets the requirements for proper ventilation for heat dissipation and avoidance of direct sunlight. When the inverter is operating, there may be risks of high temperature and high voltages. It is recommended to install the inverter in a location that is not easily accessible. Install the mounting bracket. Adequate space should be reserved around the installation location of the inverter. Identify inverter mounting location. Mount the back panel horizontally on the bracket. Use screws, spacers and nuts to secure the back mount plate to the bracket. Back panel installation completed. Mount the inverter. Raise the inverter slightly above the mounting bracket. Align the inverter hooks with the hooks on the mounting plate and slowly lower the inverter until the hooks on both sides interlock with each other. Grounding conductor connection. Connect the ground wire from the crimped OT terminal to the ground point on the side of the inverter. DC side connection. Please use a multimeter to measure the open circuit voltage of the PV strings, distinguish the positive and negative poles. Ensure the DC voltage is within the allowable range marked on the nameplate of the inverter. Please refer to Solis demonstration video for making of DC connection cable. When the PV module is exposed to sunlight, high voltages can occur on the DC cable. Do not touch the DC cable. Before connecting the PV strings to the inverter, please ensure that the VOC and ESC of the PV strings will not exceed the limitations of the inverter. Any PV modules connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. This ensures the system will operate at maximum efficiency. When you hear a click sound, it indicates that the connection is fastened. AC side connection. Before connecting AC cables, please remove the terminal protective cover at the bottom of inverter. Thread the AC cable into the AC terminal box. Unscrew the screws on the AC terminal. Tighten the nut after installing the OT terminal. Tighten the nut with an 8mm socket wrench. Close the wiring box and tighten the screws on the wiring box. Communication connection. The USB CALM port is used to connect the data logging stick. The 8-pin CALM port is used for multi-inverter RS-485 daisy chain connection or logic interface connection or meter communication interface. If you choose Ginlong Solis data logger, please connect it to the CALM port at the bottom of the inverter. If there are multiple inverters, you need to connect an 8-pin CALM port. Connect the assembled 8-pin CALM connector to the 8-pin CALM port at the bottom of the inverter. Power on debugging. Please visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. You can pull the cable lightly to confirm that the cable connection is tight. Close the AC circuit breaker first, then close the DC switch. If the DC input voltage is greater